seeing the pain and suffering that he is going through, unable to bear that, he cries to God, Lord, why all this pain to me? It would have been better if I died in the womb of my mother. Who went and told my father, a son is born for you. So many questions. Why good man suffers? Why the waste fellows come up in life? So he has many questions to raise. The existential question. But he doesn't understand how God in his wisdom guides and directs every man. So the Lord says, Come on man, you answered the God who made heaven and earth is standing before you. Now you tell me what do you want. Job says, Lord, once I have spoken a blunder. Now why should I say again, Lord? You know it well. I take my food and keep it on my mouth. Means I will not take any more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then we find the Lord teaching him who made the stars, who made the wind, who made the powerful mountains, who made the roaring sea, who made the flying flowers, who takes care of the birds of the air, who takes care of the animals who don't have the home, in the rain, the heat, the sun and the moon? Yes. Who takes care of the reptiles, the snakes, the lizards? So many reptiles in the world who are always on the earth. Who takes care of them? It is God's wisdom. It's God's knowledge. He takes care of us because He is our Father. So, continue to praise God. Continue to thank God when your mind is disturbed, when your mind is without answer. Place your mind, fill your mind with the Lord's word, with the Lord's thinking. And fill your hearts with His presence. That's what the Word of God says, which is called praise and worship. Praise God and thank God for what He is. Praise God, thank God for what He is to us. Praise God and thank God what He does through us. Praise God and thank God for what we will be. Fourth thing it does, teaches Job. Praise God and thank God for what God is. The whole world displays the power and glory of God. The anointing of God. The glory of God. Yes. We need to remember who God is, what a mighty God He is, and praise Him, thank Him, and worship Him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So, the first thing we need to praise God, thank God for what He is, what a mighty God we have. We need to constantly the great God who made mountains, the great God who made the sea, the great God who led, takes care of everything. The more we remember, we move out of our heart to praise Him, to thank Him, to worship Him. Yes. So we need to first remember who God is. And second, what that Lord is doing to us, 
what he has done to the humanity. He loved us so much that he sent his only son for us who died on the cross, who shed his blood. Though we are sinners and we are deserved to die, the wages of sin is death. The Bible says, Hebrews and Ezekiel 18.10 The man who sins has to die according to the law of God. But God says, 18.23 I don't want even a single child to die. The law says he has to die. But God fights for him. No, he is my son. She is my daughter. What is the answer? He sends his only son to die on the cross, to shed the blood, the blood that can remove the sin of man and then make him free. Make him free. When we remember what the Savior has done for us, our hearts turn into joy. Whenever we remember who God is, what God has done for us, we are hearts leaped in thanksgiving in worship to Him. And the third thing is, when we look into ourselves, I see my own life. I have done many blunders. I have fallen many times. If all my sins are made known, people might have stoned me to death. My personal life, my personal fall, my personal sin. There are too many, too many. But God, as a father, he forgives me. As a mother, he carries me. And he has given me the gift of salvation. Not only he has brought salvation on the cross. Today, I experiencing him. When I cry to him, Lord, because of my sin, this is happening to me. This is happening to me. Have mercy on me, Lord. I am a sinner, Lord. I find his grace forgiving me and delivering me when we invite Jesus. When we make him as our Lord and Savior, the Lord comes into our lives. When the rain comes, how the dry ground is changed, the color is changed, the shape is changed and the land begins to give new life, new plants, new crops. Yes, the same way. The moment a person accepts Jesus as the Lord and Savior, the person's life experiences the bloom and salvation. My dear friends, Sangamon Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.